Hi, it's Professor Davis. Uh, today we want to talk about computing binomial probabilities on the Casio FX300ES scientific calculator. So let's take a look at an example here and uh, we'll see how we can do this. We'll do this two ways. We'll take a look at uh, how we can compute a single probability and then we'll also look and see how we can create a probability distribution on this calculator. So let's take a look at this example. The U.S. Bureau of Justice reports that the probability of a male driver getting a speeding ticket in a one-year period is 10.8 percent. Suppose that 23 men are selected at random for a study on highway safety. In Part A it asks, what is the probability that five of them have received a speeding ticket over the last year? In other words, the probability that X is exactly five. Well, let's take a look here. Here we have a fixed number of trials, 23, that's N. And then we have a fixed probability of success, 10.8% or 0 .108 written in decimal form. And notice here we have our, um, our binomial distribution formula written here. And we can use that in the discrete form for part A. So what we want to do here is to compute the um, uh, uh, x of 5 when n is 23 and p is 0 0.108. Now we'll also need the probability of failure, so let's go ahead and compute that before we do anything else. That's the complement of the probability of success, so that's uh, 1 minus 0 0.108, and we'll need that later, and that number ends up being 0.892. So let's go ahead now and compute that probability that we want. We'll go ahead and put in 23, and then the shift key, and then the um, division key for the combination. We'll put in 5 for our x value, and then we'll multiply that by p to the x, so that's 0 0.108, and then we'll raise that to the fifth power. Notice here x to the little box uh, power button is the exponent key. Go ahead and hit the uh, right cursor key to go back down. Multiply by 0.892. That's what we got for our probability of failure. And then we want to raise that to the 23 minus 5 power. We could have written 18 in there, couldn't we? But I just went ahead and wrote 23 minus 5. And so it looks like that probability is what? A little bit over 6% that exactly 5 of these 23 will have gotten a speeding ticket over the last year. So that's how we can compute a discrete probability. You know, in other words, a probability for just one value. Now contrast that with part B here, where it says we want to find the probability that at most 2 of the 23 have received a speeding ticket over the last year. So there we want to compute not just p of 2, but at most 2 means it could be uh, x could be 1, or x could be 0, where no one got a speeding ticket. So we want to compute the sum of three probabilities here. And so we'd want to compute a probability distribution, a table of probabilities for this. So let's do that now. To do that, we first want to hit the mode key and select 3 for table. And notice once we do that, we get f of x, meaning enter a function. Well, we're going to enter a probability distribution function here. So let's go ahead and start that out. So we just want to generalize what we did in part a. So we'll go ahead and put in 23, shift key, combination, and now we need the variable x. Let me show you where that is. If you hit the alpha key, see it's red, and then notice here there's a red x just above the right parentheses key. So that's what I'll use to get the independent variable x. So I'll go ahead and hit alpha and then x and then we want to multiply by 0 0.108 and then go ahead and raise that to the x power. So again alpha and x and then we want to multiply by the probability of failure 0.892 and then we're going to raise that to the 23 minus x power. And so now if we go ahead and hit the equal sign now, it's asking us where we want this table to start. 
we want the x values to start at 0. So I'll enter 0. And we want to end it at 23s because that's the number of uh, uh, trials we have with an increment of 1. So step of 1 is OK. So I'll go ahead and hit Enter now. And notice we get our probability distribution here with the values of our binomial random variable x in the x column f of x has the probability values. So notice here, we want, actually we want the ones that are in the first three slots here for x being 0, x being 1, and x being 2. Now let me just show you, we can scroll down here and we can get the other probabilities for the other values of x. We don't need those, we just need these first three of uh, 0 0.0721, 0, excuse me, 0.2009, and 0.2676. So let's go ahead and just add those up and we'll have our answer then. So to get out of this uh, table here, I'll go ahead and hit the mode key and hit 1 to get back into computational mode. So those numbers were 0 0.0721 plus 0 0.2009 plus 0 0.2976. 2676. So I'll go ahead and hit enter now. There we have the answer as a rational number. We, we want to put that in decimal form. So there it is. So it looks like uh, a little over 54 percent is the probability that at most two of these 23 men would have had a speeding ticket in the last year. So that's how we can compute uh, binomial probabilities using the Casio FX 300ES scientific calculator.